Well, good morning everybody. Here we are in the depths of Germany on a quest to travel to Poland to a place called Auschwitz. Um, we've had some real horrors on the way down these motorways. 22 mile tailback yesterday from a lorry fire. An horrific storm which we managed to pull into our services to avoid but caused many an accident on our way down. We're reporting from a service station where we spent a beautiful night. It's an excellent morning here. We're just about to set off again and trample through towards Dresden.
Right, we're about 25 miles away now from uh, from Auschwitz. Um, just checking to make sure that we know which road to go off on. So, uh, when we get there, we'll probably have a bit more to say. Until then, au revoir. Well, at last we're here, Auschwitz. But I wouldn't recommend anybody travelling down those roads in Poland, for God's sake. If you're coming, make sure you do your own work. Just going to get ready now, get all the gear ready. Um, you don't have to pay to go in, but they recommend that you go around with a guide. So, um, it's half past ten. It's starting to rain, so we're just going to get the gear ready now and have a wander around the world, Auschwitz has become the symbol of terror, genocide and the Holocaust. It was established by Germans in 1940 in the suburbs of Auschwitz, a small Polish city that was annexed to the Third Reich by the Nazis. Its name was changed to Auschwitz. direct reason for the establishment of the camp was the fact that mass arrests of Poles were increasing beyond the capacity of existing local prisons. Initially, Auschwitz was to be one more concentration camp of the type that the Nazis had been setting up since the early 1930s. It functioned in its role throughout its existence even when, beginning in 1942, it also became the largest of the death camps. 